Today, we have the Ocean Master versus the Leader. Who wins? Well, let's find out. Um, Orm Morius, or Orm, whatever, um, is the half-brother of Aquaman. The version we're going to be using is the post-flashpoint, meaning this is just the post-flashpoint um, version of the character. Um, for the leader, he will not have any, like, we're going to first see how he, this is with prep time. Uh, actually, you know what, with prep time, he would win 10 times out of 10. Even then, I don't think Ocean Master is on that level where he would need prep time. He's, we're both are very similar level, so I think this is going to be without prep time. Yeah, this is going to be without prep time. Because, um, Ocean Master is not at a level where, like, leader definitely is going to need prep time. Um, even then, with prep time, the leader would win 10 times out of 10. But who would win this fight? Well, let's find out. Now, in terms of strength, like, physical strength, Ocean Master is superior. He was able to choke out Suran. Uh, since Aquaman flying just with a throw, um, was able to split vehicles in half, hold his ground down up against Aquaman just when just by clashing. In fact, even before, even the more before Crisis on Infinite Earths, he was able to hold his own very well against Aquaman. Now, I would actually argue that these two are very equal in durability, but its speed where Ocean Master is just superior. The leader doesn't really have many speed feats. Well, I don't think. Well, I'm sure he does, but I don't think that's what he's known for. I think he's more known for his intelligence. Now, the question is, can Ocean Master take out the gamma radiation in terms of um, the leader? I'm going to go with yes and no. Yes, in the sense that he could definitely absorb gamma radiation, but at the same time, when you absorb gamma radiation, it's very similar to the absorbment, it's not going to go so well. The Ocean Master, I don't think, has the power to um, manipulate the water into absorbing the gamma radiation outside of the leader. So, even then, and if it's good against someone like Leader, if this was the Hulk, I would actually see Ocean Master being knocked out because of the absorbing of the gamma radiation. So, but this is the leader. Um, the leader would not transfer his mind, but it's going to give Ocean Master a concussion and essentially is going to um, like brain damage himself. Um, in that area, leader would win. So. But the problem is, Ocean Master would probably know not to do that. I don't think he even has that ability, but let's just say he did. That's going to knock out Ocean Master and the leader would win. But even then, I don't think that's going to be Ocean Master's um, primarily attack. I'm sure he's going to be sending leader with enough strikes to take him down. But, um, but here's the thing. The leader has actually doesn't usually get into physical fights because he doesn't stand a single chance. He's kind of like Riddler in a sense where he doesn't go physical to physical, he goes mentally to mentally. And I think that's the main thing. Ocean Ash is more of a physical threat. However, when you have a physical threat with Ocean Master and you have a mental threat with the leader, usually leader never wins in a fight with the Hulk. The Ocean Master, especially because this is the post Flashpoint and the, Fla and the New 52 literally came after Flashpoint, the Ocean Master was able to take down the entire Justice League. Although, to be fair, he had magic, he had um, some allies to help him out. Um, but, but it doesn't matter, it's still Ocean Master's main plan. And I actually have that story, it's Shorn of Atlantis. Um, but the leader never does that. He never goes up against people like the Avengers. Maybe he has. Maybe I just don't know. But overall, if I have to say who would win this fight, the Ocean Master or the leader, well, it has to be the Ocean Master. Because, in yes, in the sense that he absorbs the gamma radiation but with his magical trident, that's going to give the leader the victory. But at the same time, I'm... That, I don't think that's an ability he's going to use right off the bat. I think he's going to be manipulating the water and helping him out. 
And that's where it's going to give Ocean Master victory. He's been in more fights, more physical and mentally fights. He uses his strategies, and he's been in more fights where the leader just doesn't. Overall, Ocean Master would win probably 5 times out of 10. Leader would win 5 times out of 10. Ridiculously close match, but let's just say these guys fall one more time. Maybe the Ocean Master. Again, I might do a update video on this. So. But what do y'all think? I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. I've hit all, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time.